Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and this is gonna be video two of the Getting Started series for Total CMS. Now, video one went over some of the core CMS features that are a part of Easy CMS and Total CMS. Now, in this video, we're going over just the features that basically build on top of that inside Total CMS. So the features of this video are just gonna comprise of features that are a part of Total CMS. Now, Really, a lot of the core concepts are still the same. It's just different features. You still need to tie your CMS ID on the admin side to the CMS ID on the content side. Really, that is the core concept of the CMS. Very basic. Again, it all works within RapidWeaver, okay? So this isn't gonna be too long of a video. I'm not gonna do some deep dives into all the settings for the stacks that we see please check out the more in-depth tutorials for each individual component for text and images and galleries and files. And so make sure you look out for in-depth tutorials on those and those will actually dive more in depth into each setting, okay? In this video, we're gonna go over just a quick general overview of how everything works, okay? So without further ado, let's jump on in. So here we have the Total CMS demo project that ships with Total CMS and is available for download from our documentation portal. Now, as you notice, this looks very similar to the Easy CMS file that we used uh, in the Getting Started video one. So, but there's a few additional things. Below the tab container, you'll notice that we have a gallery, okay? We have the ability to manage videos, we have a slideshow, we have the ability to actually control a single file download as well as entire file depots. Next, we have the ability to display news feeds as well. And the same thing happens on the admin side, right? We have admin containers to manage all of these things. So we have, as we saw in the video one, okay, all the stuff above here, as well as the ability to add new images, the ability to edit the video, manage our news feeds, as well as upload new files. So if we look at the edit page for the admin area, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the gallery section because all the content above, we kind of reviewed in the last video. So here we have the gallery. And as you see, I told you there was gonna be the same exact concept, right? We have a CMS ID and I assign this to have it in an ID of gallery. And guess how I display this gallery? On the content page, I have a gallery content stack that has the CMS ID of gallery, right? This isn't rocket science. All this works really, really well. It's simple to set up. Um, and if we scroll down, we have the video uh, stack to edit the video, right? So that we can paste YouTube and Vimeo URLs in here and have it easily displayed. And of course, the option here is you add a CMS ID and it ties to the CMS ID on the content side. Now, the feed stack is maybe where it diverges a little bit, where it's a slightly more complicated because there are two stacks for feeds. We have the feed post stack where we can actually create new feed items, okay? And we can either have an image and text or text only feed items. And then we have a feed list stack. And this feed list stack will actually display all of our existing feed items and allow us to edit them or delete them if we need to. But even feeds, they're all tied with the same CMS ID. So here I have set the CMS ID in the feed list to be total CMS. And in the feed post stack, I also have that set to have the CMS ID of total CMS. Now, if we go further down the page, we'll see that we have files and depots. And guess what? These are set up the same exact way as everything else. We set up a CMS ID for our depot and a separate CMS ID for our file. And these are managed with this CMS ID. So if we preview our admin page, let's see how some of this functions. For the admin gallery, it behaves pretty much how you would expect it. Drag and drop a new image here and it will be automatically added to your gallery. And just as with the static images, we can control the alt tags, as well as get warehoused image URLs to every single image. Further down, we have our videos. And here you can paste in any YouTube or Vimeo URL 
and that Vimeo or YouTube video will be displayed in your content areas. And feeds, when you add a new post here, you type in your text and drag and drop a new image. And when it's done adding, it will be automatically added to your list over here on the right. And if you've ever messed up on a post, you could simply click on that post and you can edit both the image and the text all right within the admin interface. Now managing files with the CMS is just as easy as managing images. Just drag and drop the file of any type. It could be a zip or an image or a PDF and it will automatically upload that file to the depot. And if you're managing a individual file, you can upload and replace the same exact file to ensure that that file URL never changes. Now, if we were to look at the content side, we'll notice that the gallery and the slideshow stacks are tied to the CMS ID of a gallery. So in this instance, we'd set up the gallery ID to be gallery inside the admin page, and we set up the CMS ID to match that so that it will be displayed on our content area. Same thing with video and file and file depot. They all work just as magically as the other ones. Simply tie it to the same CMS ID and the content will be displayed uh, on your web page. So let's quickly review some all the stacks that in, are included inside Total CMS. Again, just as we saw in the first video, we have two sets of stacks available. We have the colored background icons are the stacks that are for the admin interface. And the icons with the white backgrounds are the stacks for the content of your web pages. If you notice, all the icons are the same. They're just simply inversed. So the feed admin area is the feed icon. And we have the corresponding exact icon just inversed for our content pages. So it's really simple to display and figure out exactly which stacks you need. Now, some other stacks that were included that we didn't really review today. One is the protect stack. And this is similar to our page safe stack. And this stack allows you to actually apply a login to lock down your admin pages for total CMS. This is important because you don't want the average user just be able to have their admin page open to the world. You want to password protect it. And lastly, we have a select box, which, allow, which allows us to actually define predefined text snippets that our users can select from uh, when they add it to the page. So that does it, everybody. That is the powerful Total CMS and all of its amazing features, right? Now, remember back in video one, we reviewed the base CMS features of Easy CMS and the core of Total CMS. And in this video, we, we reviewed everything that sits on top of that, that is a part of Total CMS. As you see, it is a lot of stuff. And I just skimmed the surface. I didn't really dive into many of the settings, right? But you should know the concepts now. It's really simple. You just use them as any other stack to build not only your admin area, in your but your content areas as well. And they're all tied to a simple CMS ID and it just works. Just publish and go. Everything works inside RapidWeaver without question, right? It is very, very cool. So I hope you enjoy Total CMS. If you haven't, go and download the free 30-day trial. You can use it for 30 days all you want, okay? So you have no excuse, play with it. I hope you enjoy it. It's really gonna revolutionize how you and your customers administer your web pages. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, have a great day and talk to you later. Bye.